Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Aura News broadcast on the first day of your weekend. It is time now for our daily English news edition, and as usual, I'm Daniel Cook, your host, Monday through Saturday. The ministers of the Council of Europe have urged the Albanian authorities to complete the law on restitution and compensation of properties. Phrasing the draft presented by the government, the Committee of Ministers asked the authorities to explain the basis on which the compensation of property will be assessed, the map that is being worked on, and the exact methodology in which the law will be applied. During a meeting held in Strasbourg, the European authorities encouraged the Albanian institutions to spare no efforts to ensure technical and logistical infrastructure and to obtain the necessary human and financial resources so that the compensation plan can be effective and timely. They said that the institutions need to adequately monitor the law enforcement bodies and develop an updated plan for the actions that they will take. Additionally, the Albanian authorities should be held accountable to Strasbourg and its committee of ministers until the 30th of January next year. At that time, all of the steps that have been taken will be evaluated by the EC Committee of Ministers. The property law is being contested by former property owners and also by the opposition, who say that it is the equivalent of owners being expropriated a second time. Open Data Albania has analyzed the draft budget for 2016 and has noticed that the Prime Minister's office will acquire 303 new employees in 2016 as the result of several new agencies under its authority. After the Prime Minister's office, then the next highest addition of employees will belong to the Ministry of Defense at 247 new hires. The Ministry of Social Welfare and Youth will, will hire 177 new employees and the Ministry of Economic Development, Trade and Entrepreneurship will take on 148. 128 new employees will be hired by the Ministry of Agriculture, Rural Development, and Water Management. Hiring in the other institutions will not reach these high levels. The data indicates that fewer employees will be hired to work in the Ministry of Education and Sports, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, the Ministry of Environment, the Ministry of Urban Development and Tourism, the Statistical Institute, and other government bodies. All of these ministries will make fewer new hires than they did in 2015. The most noticeable reduction is the Ministry of Education and Sports, which will hire 7,100 fewer employees. This is because of a number of competences being transferred from the ministry to the local governments. The 2016 state administration will be the smallest in the recent five years. According to Open Data Albania, this reduction does not mean cuts in the administration but reflects the transfer of a number of functions from the central government to the local governments. It has been announced that the trauma hospital in Tirana will remain under the administration of the Ministry of Health. The government has decided that the Ministry of Health will continue to manage the hospital, but that it will be funded by the Ministry of Defense. This means that the trauma hospital will remain a medical hospital and will not be turned into a military hospital, as it was predicted some months past. The budget for the hospital of 2016 is predicted to be 440 million lek, an increase of 6.9% from last year. Of this amount, 84 million will be used to install new emergency medical equipment. The trauma hospital treats about 40,000 emergency cases per year and performs 4,000 surgical operations. Prosecution has concluded the investigation of the socialist MP Armando Prenga and has officially brought three charges against him. Prenga is charged with the intentional injury of three people, threat to life, and illegal possession of firearms. He is being investigated at large as the High Court ruled that he is to be kept under house arrest. The socialist MP was involved in a property dispute several months ago with another family over the valley of Patoku. Pranga is accused of doing bodily injury to Jok, Tom, and Nicole Tsali and threatening their family members. In continuation of his tour to further clean Albania, Prime Minister Adi Rama visited Jirakostra today. He spoke to the citizens there, saying that with their protest, 
Democratic Party has called for a rebellion against the state. He said that the Democratic chairman, Luzin Basha, is encouraging the citizens to break the law, telling them not to pay their fines and to hide their incomes. He asked for new efforts to enlarge the Socialist Party, which according to him is turning into a familial organization in some areas. He criticized some members of his party for what he called the primitive approach of offering jobs in the public administration. This is not the right approach to building the party, according to Mr. Rama. He spoke about the growing tendency of the socialist members to promote the party by offering people jobs and said that jobs in the public administration must be earned by merit, not by changing affiliations to a political party. He said that as the result of these promotional tactics, the Socialist Party is missing the kind of members who actually work hard to earn positions like those in the public administration. Furthermore, the Prime Minister said that he is aware that the reforms that are being made are having effects that do not make everyone happy. He said that more time is needed and reminded his listeners that the government cannot just wave a magic wand and make everything perfect for everyone. According to Prime Minister Rama, progressive Albanians have only one choice, to join the Alliance for the European Albania, the Socialist and SMI coalition. The opposition parties in Kosovo protested again today against the agreements that the government signed with Serbia and Montenegro. The opposition members and hundreds of citizens demanded that the government repeal these agreements. The leader of the self-determination movement, one of the opposition parties, announced another protest to come, this time in Pristina. He said that the residents of this area have always been against these agreements, which are harmful to the Republic of Kosovo. This part of Kosovo has been affected the most by ethnic decentralization, he says. For this reason, the citizens of the area will not allow these agreements. The leader of the Alliance for the Future of Kosovo, Ramush Haradinaj, also invited the citizens to join in the opposition protests and reject the agreements the government has signed. Today was the second demonstration to be held in one of Kosovo's smaller cities. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and please join us again on Monday at the same time. Have a fantastic weekend.